all members of the Kolimo family, Your Excellency the President, all protocols observe. Good morning. My name is Ashley Chepkorir, a Form 4 student at MPESA Foundation Academy, and I stand here this morning representing the students and staff of the Academy, a project that was very dear to Bob's heart. I first met Bob in the streets of Nairobi outside the Kenya Conservatoire of Music in 2016. He was heading to his car, and I walked up to him and said, Hey, sir, my name is Ashley Chepkorir from Mpesa Foundation Academy. Could you please come to the Academy on Monday because there will be a function to welcome the students in the campus, and I will be the MC. Surprisingly, he didn't think twice. He enthusiastically said yes. I longed to meet him after the function because I had a lot of questions to ask him. I walked up to him and asked if he lives in a cave or something because I could not find him on any social media platform. He gave me his contacts and this is how we started our father-daughter relationship. In one of our first conversations, he said, the joy of knowing children like you and all the wonderful children at the academy is immeasurable. On 18th June 2017, during Father's Day, I wrote to him and told him that when my friends were talking about their dads, the first person that came to my mind was him. In his reply, he said that that was the most heartfelt message he has ever received. He said we share the same father experience, and just like me, he refused to let the past define his future, and that he had chosen to live a richly fulfilling life. I noted something impressive in him. He didn't just love and care for the fraternity at the academy for his public image. He was genuine, generous, and humorous too. I remember we once organized a surprise visit during the sports day. He had a busy schedule and specifically said the visit would be very brief. The very and brief was in capital letters. He actually ended up staying for hours. All his emails ended with, we now all need to focus on improving those grades as you promised. He wanted us to be successful, and on behalf of the students, his wish will be fulfilled. He has taught us a lot, and though he persistently told us that we inspired him, he inspired us more, and he will still inspire us every single morning. Through him, I learned a lot. He told me that a good business person uses their own product. That's when I started wearing my own jewelry and accessories and not just selling it to others at the academy. The Mpesa Foundation Academy fraternity was saddened by the news and there was a somber mood in the campus. We lit candles in the resource center and administration block to honor the good life that Bob lived. He was our mentor and greatly impacted our lives, especially the students. We will miss his surprise visits and inspiring speeches. I know that completely filling the empty space in our hearts is almost impossible, but we will try by being transformational leaders. He, he, he accepted that death is inevitable and still chose to be happy. This teaches me that every moment in life counts and that we should always maximize the present because we don't know what tomorrow holds. My last message to him is that you may not be here anymore, but my love for you will never die. I miss you, Dad. Your legacy lives on, and may your soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you.